Roanoke. A name that echoes through time, a name that lingers in the depths of our collective consciousness. It's a story that captivates us, drawing us into its enigmatic embrace. A tale that forces us to confront the limits of our understanding, to question the thin veil of certainty that separates us from the unknown. In the heart of what is now North Carolina, on a secluded island enveloped by towering trees and embraced by the dark waters of the Atlantic, the settlers of Roanoke made their fateful landing. It was a time of exploration, of hope, but also of trepidation. Little did they know that their footsteps would become etched into the annals of history, the journey emblazoned with an air of mystique and tragedy. Led by John White, these brave souls left their homeland behind, embarking on a perilous voyage to the New World. As they stepped onto the untamed shores, their eyes filled with wonder and their hearts brimming with dreams. It was a tenuous beginning, a delicate ballet between survival and expansion, between forging a future and succumbing to the trials that awaited them. But fate had other plans in store for these pioneers. Supplies dwindled, hope waned, and the settlers found themselves adrift in a sea of uncertainty. John White, compelled by the dire circumstances, sailed back to England, the weight of the destiny heavy on his shoulders. Promises were made, assurances given, but unbeknownst to him, that departure would mark the commencement of a dark chapter in history. Time took on a different quality in the dwindling colony. Each day stretched into eternity, burdened by the weight of hunger, of fear, and of despair. The air itself seemed to hold its breath, each breath tinged with unease. The once unified community began to fray at the seams, unraveling like a worn tapestry, exposing the raw edges of human nature. In this fragile state, a message appeared, etched onto a wooden post, Croatoan. It was a word pregnant with possibility, with potential salvation. The Croatan tribe, known for their amicable nature, offered a glimmer of hope. But were they friend or foe? The settlers were left to grapple with this newfound uncertainty, their minds becoming fertile ground for seeds of doubt and paranoia. As the days wore on, the enigma surrounding Roanoke deepened. Strange occurrences whispered through the colony, like the ethereal voices of phantoms. Objects vanished only to reappear transformed, twisted into grotesque parodies of their former selves. The air grew heavy with foreboding, its weight suffocating. A palpable tension clung to the settlers, coiling around them like a python, squeezing the life from their weary bones. And then, people disappeared. Hunters, mothers, children. Vanished without a trace. The settlement, once a beacon of hope, now stood as a ghostly testament to the unknown. Shadows danced on the periphery, unseen eyes watched from the depths, and the settlers clung to the remnants of their faith, their spirits teetering on the precipice of oblivion. Nights descended upon the island like a cloak of impenetrable darkness. The sky, once a canvas of stars, now held a malevolent glimmer. Unearthly howls pierced the silence, reverberating through the forest like a chorus of anguished souls. The water surrounding Roanoke churned, agitated by forces beyond comprehension. The settlers, those who remained, sought solace in each other, huddling together as the walls closed in. Symbolic etchings appeared on the trees, taunting their attempts at understanding. It was as if the island itself reveled in the settlers' confusion, delighting in their suffering. In a desperate act, they formed a circle, praying for deliverance, for a glimmer of hope. But their pleas met silence, their prayers dissolving into the very air they breathe. Something ancient and insidious watched, listening, savoring their vulnerability. And then, with the return of John White, hope sparked once more, but it was extinguished as soon as it had flickered to life. The settlement stood barren, a desolate tableau of loss and destruction. The word, C-R-O-A-T-O-A-N, remained, etched into the wood like a haunting epitaph a fading testament to a force that defies categorization. With the passage of time, the fate of Roanoke has become the subject of fevered speculation. Did they fall prey to human malfeasance, a sinister plot orchestrated in the depths of the wilderness? Or did they stumble upon something primordial, something beyond the realm of mortal understanding? The truth remains elusive, slipping through our fingers like sand. Roanoke endures as a whispered word, a tantalizing enigma that beckons us closer, only to elude our grasp. It serves as a somber reminder, that there are things, dark and incomprehensible, that lie just beyond the veil of our understanding. Things that watch, things that wait, things that, given the chance, will reach out from the shadows to pull us into the abyss.